surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far guys, YouTube Essentials here. So for today's video, I'm going to be starting off with a dining table that I made using thick boards that I got from Home Depot. And I'm going to be making a dining table for three. And I put the boards together to form a triangle. And I used screws to hold them in place. I used two screws on each side to hold the boards together. But then I later decided to add one more screw in the middle. The board is going to be covered up with Dollar Tree mirrors. Now I'm going to detach the mirrors from the frame and glue the mirrors to the board using a hot glue gun and any 6000 glue. And then the outer spaces is going to be covered up with this golden trim that I got from Hobby Lobby. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now for the top, I did not want to use wood, I wanted glass and it was going to be expensive. So lucky for me, someone was throwing this away. This was a major score for me, so I picked it up quickly and cleaned it. I want a round pattern for this glass, so I turn it to the back. And then in the middle, I cut a round board from a box. And then placed it there. I actually used the hot glue gun to glue it at the middle. And then I took it out and I spray painted it white. Now I have the round shape that I want in the middle. So to have this on the base that I just made, I'm going to be holding it using suction cups that I got from a bathroom item that I bought from Walmart. So I removed just the suction cups and then I made deep grooves in the wood for the cups. The rough edges at the top is going to be covered with this trim that I got from Walmart. The cool thing about DIYing your stuff yourself is that you can customize it to suit your style. Now I want lighting to be inside this table so I got this LED strip from Walmart and it's voice activated with Google Assistant and I'm going to insert it from here and I use my drill gun to open just a little bit of space that will be wide enough for the LED strips to go through. It comes in different colors and you can switch it on or off and even change the colors with your phone. After I was done with that, I attached suction cups using a strong adhesive and E6000 glue, left it for some hours to dry, and then I placed the glass on top. Like I said earlier, the triangular shape that I used for the base for my dining is because I'm going to be using just three chairs. Now that I'm done with the dining table, I'm going to be moving on to the chairs. I got a plain IKEA chair and I got three of them, and I didn't like the way they looked. So because it comes in a box, I assembled the chairs and then removed all the extra fabric that came with it so that I can work with it and make tufting on the chairs. I cover the entire seating and the back with extra one inch foam. I also made points where I'll be making holes for the tufting. I covered it up with batting and then for the fabric I'll be using this white faux leather that I got from Hobby Lobby. I started tufting and then realized it wasn't holding up so I had to open all the foam and check out what was behind the IKEA chair. This board was so light and would not let me tuft on it so I had to take canvas panel that I got from Walmart, cut it to the size that I wanted and glued it at the back to make it easy for me to make my tufting. To keep the tufting firm and tight, I'll be using washers and screws. Now it's super easy, 
you just insert the screw inside the washer. And the washer prevents the screw from sinking into the fabric. I'm simply using my finger to locate where the hole is and then making a hole with the screw first so that the fabric does not twist. Because I was sure the bottom part was made with hard wood, I decided to use a staple gun to finish up the sides. I then painted the back and the legs all white. To give the back a metallic look, I got this golden mat from Z Gallery. And it's 25% off for something a little bit above $4, so that was a score. I cut off the edges and then made it to the measurement to fit the back of the chair. Now this is what I'm going to use and it's not long enough. So I'm going to add another mat at the bottom. I tried my best to make sure that the attachment does not show too much. And so after that, I picked up the first mat and attached it to the top of the chair using the staple gun. And then the remaining parts were glued to the chair using the hot glue gun. To make the bottom part flow with the top, I covered it with the leftover piece from a canvas panel and then held it down with a staple gun before adding the second mat. Because the line here is still showing, I'm going to cover that up with white duct tape. The paint at the bottom does not look neat because I'm yet to give it the final coat. A design on a collapsible storage bin can also be used at the back of the chair. Now I picked up this one because it's gold and white and cut it to the size that would fit the chair and then use pieces from the mat to decorate the edges. Now for the sides, I'll be using this gold studded trim that I got from Walmart. It's not so long so I used two packs for one chair. Now it's easy to attach this trim so you just use tack nails to hold it down to the wood. The table mat that's still showing around here is going to be trimmed out neatly. To add more style and shine to the back of the chairs, I added gems. And then I used crystal buttons that I got from Walmart for the tufting. The base that I use for this table is really heavy, so that's good so that it doesn't move. I'm really happy that I made this dining set and I'm so in love with the lighting in the middle of the table. And at night, it's so beautiful. And you can set it to the mood you like. You're eating something spicy, you could use red light. And then you can use blue for ice cream or something cold. But the interesting thing is you can set it up to the color that suits the meal you're having or your mood. Here I just made a normal table setting for three with charger plates at the bottom and it fits just fine. I like the fact that I was able to use a glass that was thrown away by someone and a basic Ikea chair, three of them of course, and made a lovely dining set for myself. This was fun for me because I wanted gold and white and I achieved that on a budget by making it myself. A dining set similar to this can cost a lot of money but then I didn't spend a lot making this because I just used regular items and I loved the way it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and pick one or two ideas for your own dining set and remember to like this video and share it with your friends and families.
thank you guys so much for watching now i have other diy videos linked in the description box below do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button